Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gaurav and you're watching me on Log on to Gaurav. As the title of the video says, in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to do registration of your drone on digital sky platform. So actually registering drone on digital sky platform is a must if you want to fly drone in India. In the previous video, I have explained all about the drone rules in India. In that video, I've explained what are the categories of drone and for which category, what rules are applied. And in this video, I'm, I'm going to particularly show you how to do registration. Also, if you've already registered a drone on digital sky platform, but you're facing problem in registering your second drone, then this video will also gonna help you in that. First of all, log into digital sky platform. Then you have to log into the account. If you have already created an account, then you can simply log in. Otherwise, you have to create a new one. For creation of account, you need certain documents like Indian passport, Aadhaar card or PAN number, etc. I would like to tell you at this point that only Indians can do registration on digital sky platform. And that means only Indian can fly drone in India. A lot of people have been asking me about this, that they are traveling to India. Can they fly? So technically and legally, you cannot. The option available for those people is you can hire a drone from India, which has already been registered on digital sky platform and then fly that drone and getting UIN for even nano category drone is required because in rules it's not mentioned that they are exempted from UIN registration so it means you have to apply for UIN for every drone so once you have created the account log into your account on dashboard you'll see various parameters like number of drones you have registered number of flight plans approved etc etc so if you have not registered any drone then click on the plus button or even if you have registered one then you have to click on the plus button which will open two option and on that you will see one option which says register us and you have to click on that so once you click on registering a us you get an option to select the manufacturer you can type dji if that is your drone type and click enter once you press enter you will see all the drones of dji which has been approved by dgca here you can find air 3 mini mavic everything you will find here so my drone was mini 3 i clicked on that and as soon as i clicked since it's already type certified by dgca i do not need to enter any details of the drone itself because that drone has been certified by dgca already if you are creating a drone of your own then you first of all need to get it certified by the competent authorities that has been listed by dgca those are competent to certify your drone that it is fit for flying once they do that your drone will come into this list once you click on that you'll have options to put on the serial numbers of various things like your remote controller your drone and year of manufacturing these all serial numbers are available on a drone once you connect your remote control to the drone in the option settings you can see these serial numbers one thing remaining is year of manufacturing where you can find the year of manufacturing i'll tell you later in this video once you have entered all the serial numbers you can click the submit button now a drone with all these serial numbers have been entered into the digital sky platform now you can go ahead and apply for a uin so once you click for apply uin you need to enter few more details like you have to upload the photo of a drone in certain angles from top view front view and the photo of the serial number of the drone so these are the three things that you have to upload once you upload these photos and click on submit button an automatic filled application form is generated you can review the details whatever you have entered they are correct or not and then you can proceed for payment the fee for uh, getting a uin is rupees 100 you get a declaration that you have to check and then proceed so i was talking about where you can find the manufacturing date of your drone so in the photo you, you can see the month and year that is the manufacturing date of the drone now you move ahead and go for the payment once you have done the payment you get the acknowledgement that payment has been done successfully and yes as soon as the payment is done you get a uin you go to dashboard and you can see that uin has been generated and keep that uin handy as it is generally asked at the airports whether your drone is registered or not the gst bill is not required to register your drone so for those who are facing problem while registering this second drone actually i received a lot of comments on my previous video that they are not able to register this second drone and the error shows is that they have already registered a drone of that particular model so i wrote a mail to dgca and asked the clarification of this issue they explained me a lot of process but actually i didn't went through that and again a few days back i went for the registration of my second drone and somehow that problem has been corrected so the problem people are facing that they are not able to register the second drone i think it's gone now you can do and register your second drone as i have done for myself so that's how you can register your drone on digital sky platform remember that uin is a must to fly drone in india so that was all guys from this video i hope this video helps in registering your drone and if it does please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel it will really help me a lot so that was all guys See you in the next one.